is it just me or anyone else amazed that all the out of the blue, the love that Frankie Beverly got in passing? Because when he was alive, he couldn't even get a nomination from any of the American Music Awards or Grammys or Billboard Awards, anything like that. And in he got one BET kind of award. He didn't get no kind of love, but he was rewarded by the fans. But ain't it something how all these news places are like, oh, what greatness. I'm like, where were y'all at when he was, when they were prime and peak? Where were you at? You know, and I always talk about black music heroes or people that you look up to that you know, that it's amazing when other side folks get into them because it's almost treated like it's a, just a, you know, your kind of thing, like no one else it hears or acknowledges it. It's, 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 it's like being a ghost. It's got to be psychologically painful because I feel that way. Invisible. It's a Ralph Ellison invisible man syndrome. When I think about the greatness and the depth of Frankie Beverly, amazing the music and the cookouts and the get togethers and the white outfits and the whole thing, but they never got no love. You know, and you go back in time and you think about the acts that were happening and what was coming out. Why wasn't it recognized more? You know, of course, we come up around a period where we always said it's too black. They're too scary. People didn't want to dance to the music. People didn't want to hear what they were saying. It didn't appeal. It didn't have, I don't know, didn't have the look, didn't have the imagery because that's what you come to. But we're talking about just your creativity. So I hear all these news from governments all saying the same thing. I'm like, well, y'all didn't act like that when the man was alive. You know, I mean, you, you know, you, you know, we knew acts that hit and crossed over. Y'all act like y'all, I mean, y'all like y'all ran from this guy. You ran from the music. Should have been way bigger. You know, I tell all the time that Live in New Orleans is one of the greatest live albums, one of the greatest albums, period. He was soulful. Could sing, entertain, could write, arrange, produce, instrumentalist. Why not bigger? You know, because he was a, like a round way brother who worked on Cars and Weekend Vibe and you could relate to, but didn't put, you know, and didn't go out of his way anything extra and had a base of people that supported. And that's, you know, but see, we see homogenized acts all the time get way more love. And we know Frankie Beverly had more talent than his pinky. So I just want to know what, what, why? Why wasn't Frankie Beverly ever given his just do as an artist alive? And why all of a sudden the media is like, oh, wow, the greatness. I'm like, where were you at? Where were you at? I want to know. Anybody else feel that way? Holla. Because that's one of those acts that I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you're saying Captain Obvious. After we been and know that like 30, 40 years ago, we been and know that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and your takes. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome, thoughts and comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Hit that membership. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay real. Stay conscious. Stay woke. Stay on it. I'm out. Peace.